Hey what's up I'm Nizio Cole and welcome back to another Watch Dogs mod showcase. I know I haven't uploaded in about three weeks and I apologize for that. It's just been super super busy but I finally gotten around to making another video and today we're going to be talking about the wrench mod for Watch Dogs 2. Now this is a really cool mod. Probably one of my favorite mods for Watch Dogs 2 to come out recently. Considering that there aren't that many mods for this game, I was super excited when I saw this was released. So this is basically a mod where you can play as Wrench for the entire game. The mod has two versions, one where Wrench wears his mask and one where he doesn't wear his mask. And then each of those versions has two versions, one where it's just Marcus's voice for the entire game and one where in some parts of the game, like getting into cars, petting dogs, falling, hitting, and things of that nature do have Wrench's voice, but everything else in the cutscenes and in the story is Marcus's voice. So you can choose to go full Marcus voice for the entire game, or you can choose to have like a half Wrench, half Marcus voice. And honestly, that's like one of the coolest parts because most character replacement mods for Watch Dogs are usually just the character model, there's nothing else. But this one's unique in the fact that, you know, obviously they didn't record the voice lines in Wrench's voice, so there's literally no way that they could have done that but at least some of the sound effects and the herd effects and things of that nature are actually wrench's voice which is pretty cool as well as that his voice also shows up in some emotes as well so i'll just play some clips of his voice in the game calm down or i'll give you a life lesson and angry uh, i see uh, hey, what's up Yo, this is going to result so in you getting punched oh don't look at me like that the next thing i want to talk about is wrench's outfits Three of his outfits have been added to the DeadSec vending machine, and this is another thing that most character mods don't do is actually have outfits for that person that you can choose from. You know, it's not much, but it, it really makes it feel like it's an actual part of the game, even though it's a mod, and it was never intended to be played like this. On top of that, another dance has been added from the DLC mission Automata, and it also works with the Shuffler, which I think is really cool. And the mod page does say that you're technically not supposed to wear Marcus's clothing, but it is pretty trippy. And the last, but probably my favorite addition to this mod, is that Wrench Jr. has been added to Car On Demand, which is really, really cool because it was fun seeing him in that one Titus mission, but then you'd never see him again for the rest of the game. So now you actually get to control Wrench Jr. outside of that one mission. There are a few exceptions and a few warnings on the mod page, which of course I'll have linked in the description. As well as that, I'll have a tutorial on how to install Watch Dogs mods. Again, sorry for not uploading in so long, but I'm hoping to get a few videos recorded this week and release them over the next month. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.